What is up everybody? Today we're looking at how to find the area of rectangles using its official formula. Let's go. Okay, so what are we going to remember today? Well, we need to remember the formula, which is the area of a rectangle equals base times height. Or in other words, A equals BH. Area equals base times height. So in a nutshell, what we need to understand is the measurement along the bottom is called the base. And obviously in a rectangle, if we only had the top, that would be the same. So top and bottom would be our base. And the height is how tall our rectangle is. So in this case, three centimeters, but it wouldn't matter if it was on the other side either. So when writing my answer, I'm gonna start with my formula, area equals base times height. And then I'm simply gonna subtract these letters with numbers. So area equals five times three. So therefore area equals 15. Simple, but not quite, because I'm missing something. We have to have our units over here. What units are we working in? Well, we're working in centimeters, but even that's not quite finished because when we're working with area, we have centimeters squared. And let's understand why we say this squared after centimeters. When we're working out area, essentially what we're doing is we are cutting this rectangle into three rows, just like this, and five columns. One, two, three, four, and five. And then when I measure area, essentially what we're doing is we're counting these squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's where we got our 15 from. And what have we got? We've got centimeter squares. That's why we say 15 centimeters squared. So in this very simple green chili challenge, our answer is 15 centimeters squared. Let's look at a slightly harder one. Now, the reason this question is a bit harder is because we have different units. Over here, I have centimeters for my base, but my height is in millimeters. So the first thing I need to do is convert one of these so that we have the same units. So because three is an easier number to work with, I'm gonna convert my 120 millimeters into centimeters. So what we need to understand is that for every one centimeter, we have 10 millimeters. So if I have 120 millimeters, what I need to do is divide this by 10 to get to my centimeters. So 120 divided by 10 equals 12. So 12 centimeters equals 120 millimeters. So let's get rid of 120 and write 12 centimeters. Now I'm ready to just use my formula. Area equals base times height. Therefore area in this case is three times 12. Area equals 36 centimeters squared. Well done. Because again, this shape has been split into 12 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, and three columns. One, two, three. And all we're doing is counting these individual blocks, which are each centimeter squares, and we have 36 of them. Still quite an easy challenge. Let's look at a much harder one, a red chili challenge. So now we can see we have what's called a compound shape, because what we've got here are two rectangles joined together. And we also have a missing value. We'll see if that's important later. So the first thing I need to do is I need to cut this back into its original two rectangles. So I could cut it just here and call this shape A and this B, or I could cut it along here and call this A and this B. Either is fine, so let's leave it just like this. So first of all, I need to work out the area for shape A. So let's say shape A is here, and area equals base times height. So in this case, we need to find the base. Well, my base would be this line just here that I'm drawing. This is the base of rectangle A. And we can see if we look opposite, the measurement is 10 centimeters. So we're gonna have area equals 10 times, well, what's our height? We can see our height will be over here, 
of two centimeters. So 10 times two. Therefore, area equals 20 centimeters squared. Don't forget that part. So that's shape A. Now we need to do the same to shape B. Well, let's start with our formula. Area equals base times height. And now let's look for our base. We can see our base is just here. But uh oh, I'm now in millimeters. So I need to convert this back to centimeters. So 70 millimeters becomes seven centimeters. So my area equals seven times the height, which is gonna be this length just here. Because remember, we only need to go to that line there because this part would be part of shape A. So we might look at this and think, well, it's seven centimeters. But no, because seven centimeters goes all the way from the bottom to the top. So we need to get this seven centimeters and get rid of this part here. So let's look opposite. Well, I can see that part was two centimeters. So therefore, my height is going to be seven subtract two, which is five. So my area equals seven times five, which is 35 centimeters squared. And that is the area of shape B. But am I finished? No, because so far I've got the area of shape A and I've got the area of shape B. What do I need to do? That's right, put them back together to get my total. So my area is going to be 20 plus 35. So therefore my area equals 55 centimeters squared. Whoa, loads to do, but not too tricky. Not when you know how. So your turn, and I've been quite kind to you. These are kind of orange chili challenges. Can you work out the area of these two shapes? Let's call them shape A and shape B. Press pause on the video, take your time, and put your answers in the comment section, and I'll try and mark them all. And there you have it. That is how to find the area of a rectangle using the official formula. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace 